So, forget everything you've just learned. This level has changed massively. Most of the big skips have been replaced by drop-in warps, which is where you move your camera to a certain spot and drop in the other player to get to another area. Firstly, grab the banana with Indy and drop him out. Then with Marion, get into this corner. You want to move the camera top right, and then you want to jump and drop in the other player at the peak of the jump. Indy might do this little hop beforehand, and if he does, then just wait for him to do the hop and then do the jump and drop him in. The window for this drop-in isn't massively strict, but anywhere near the top should do. Then you want to walk through the door with Indy, and in the next room you want to drop him out again. Then you want to run with Marion to the key turning machine, then jump on top, move the camera directly up, and then jump along the wall towards the left, stopping at the crack of the door. While you do all this, at the peak of the jump, drop in Indy, and he should spawn in behind the door. This is a fairly complex drop-in warp, so give each part of it some practice, and then put it all together and you should have it in no time. For the next room, nothing has changed, and the next room has also stayed exactly the same. Both strategies are still viable. And then in the next room, everything up until the monkey zone is the same. Then you want to throw the banana to the monkey with Indy, and then grab another one with Marion. Then as soon as Indy gets the key, put it in the machine and have Marion turn it. Then jump across the gap as soon as you're able to with Indy, and then the room goes exactly as you'd expect, fixing the bridge and grabbing the box with Indy, while Marion gets the wrench from the monkey and fixes the generator. And that leads us to the final room. As you did before, drop out Indy right at the start, then run all the way to the end with Marion until you get to the final gate. Move the camera top left as you approach, and then you want to jump on this dark line towards the corner. Once again, drop in Indy at the peak of the jump, and if you don't get that chance, you can continue to jump with Marion and drop in at another peak. You might have to give it a second to work, as he doesn't always appear instantly. But you can move the camera bottom right to make it a bit faster. Once he's dropped in, run through this door, and that's it. This level is far easier than it used to be, but far less creative. Click here for the next video, which will be updated soon, and click here if you want to go to the full playlist of every video in this series.